Mean Matt, and I'm here with Killer Kyle's. And we're about to talk about the first wrestling show, Super Card of Honor. Yeah. But I figured before we start, we have to have a wee nip. Little Jameson. Hell yeah, bro. Whiskey. Yes, sir. So. Ooh. Super Card of Honor is going to be lit. I know that for sure. We've also got, obviously, WrestleMania, Stand and Deliver. And, uh, I mean, if you ever have time, we'll fucking do a multiverse, I guess. Yeah, we can fit it in. We will. Yeah. If not, we'll do a review of it at least. Anyways. So... Hope you enjoy it. And to professional wrestling, motherfucker. Hell yeah. Let's throw it. Let's throw it. Let's do this. I'm Killer Kyle. Welcome to another episode of Wheels of Fury. Me and Matt here, and it's Killer Kyle, and welcome to another episode of Wheels of Fury. We got four episodes coming up at you. We have, oh, we got Stand and Deliver, we got WrestleMania, yep. and right now we're gonna do Super Card of Honor. Honor. There you go, yes. Yeah. It's going to be a intense, insane, action packed. Full weekend. Fuck yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I honestly thought Ring of Honor wasn't going to open its doors right away, but it's kind of an all elite Ring of Honor mash, if you will. Yeah. Well, there's, I've been noticing watching episodes of Impact, they've been talking about this uh, multiverse. I don't know if it's a pay per view or like a. Yeah. Maybe Impact Plus thing they're gonna do on that, but there it's like have competitors from like Ring of Honor, I'm sure Impact, maybe AEW. It, it, yeah, that looks like it'd be interesting. Um, yeah, no, for sure. And I mean, I mean, could have technically covered that as well. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. It's already jam-packed, but it does oh, yeah. look like an awesome card, to be yeah. honest with But, yeah. Oh, yeah. We start off with a take team match that I do believe was mentioned the first time on Final Battle. We got the Briscoe Brothers, Dem Boys, versus FTR. Well, see, here's the thing. It was Final Battle where the Briscoes had that match with the Kingdom for the tag team titles. They won the tag team titles and then FTR got in the ring after the match and there was a brawl and I was like, oh man, it'll be sweet to see FTR and the Briscoes in a tag team match and I figured, oh, because Ring of Honor is temporarily closing its doors. Yeah. We'll see the Briscoes in AEW for a short period of time. And they'll have that match. Yeah. Well, then there is some uh, uh, not a room. Well, kind of a rumor, but a report as well that I think it's a promoter from another company didn't want Tony Khan to sign the Briscoes to. A contract in AEW because of comments that I think Jay made. Right. That he ended up apologizing for. Uh, this was like yeah. 2015, 
2015, I think, something like that. Yeah, two, well, I think it was 2013. Or 2013. He made a, let's say, uh, it's like a homophobic story. Yeah, homophobic. Yeah. Which I'm um, not surprised, but yeah, whatever, it happened. He but, apologized for it. Yeah, but at least we are finally going to get that match, and I think this would be a really good match. I mean, FTR are already AAA tag team champions. Yeah. So it's almost like. It's going to be interesting to see the two styles clash. Yes. But if it were me, honestly, I mean, it would be interesting to see FTR as the Ring of Honor champions, but definitely we'll pick the Briscoes. Uh, well, yeah, like, we all know, of course, by now, Tony Khan purchased Ring of Honor. So, you could have... The Ring of Honor tag titles on AEW, like an episode of Dynamite or something. Yeah. I don't know how that would enter Max with like the AEW tag team titles as well. Yeah. But I think I'll take the Brescos myself. Sweet. Like, don't get me wrong, FGR is one hell of a damn tag team. Oh yeah. And so are the Brescos. So it should make for a good match. But more than likely, Brescos will get one up. Yeah, I mean, like, they got rid of Tully. I, they didn't need no manager to begin with. True. So, yeah, I think they'll be better than ever anyway. So, yeah, I, I got, yeah, we both picked the Briscoes. So. We have Shane Strickland versus Alex Zane. Yeah, of course. Swerve Strickland. He was, of course, in NXT. They had Hit Row. And then, of course, the NXT. They got released. And eventually, then it's like, oh, I wonder where they will end up. And, like, Hit Row was released late last year? Early this year? Something, something like that. Yeah. I think it was late last year. Yeah. It's like, oh, wonder where they're going to end up. And it, some months had gone by, and it's like, okay, I, I haven't seen anybody yet. And then it was Revolution. Yeah. They said that Swerve had signed to AEW. Whose house? Swerve's house. Yeah. So... It's like, okay, cool, he's in AEW now. I mean, I think that AJ Francis and B-Fab or whatever, you know, they're an interesting tag team. Right. Interesting stable. Unfortunately, I knew that as soon as they went to SmackDown or Raw, they'd be fucked over. Just how it was. B-Fab, they cut let her loose. Yeah, she, sure why. she was the first one, and then... Before you know it, the rest of Hit Row was gone. Yeah. But I think Swer uh, Strickland is going to do AEW and Ring of Honor, because I think he is, I don't know, signed to Ring of Honor? Yeah. But he's, like, so, I, and th this was before we even knew Tony <laughs> Khan had purchased Ring of Honor. I seen... Uh, video on Instagram from him. I was talking about him and Ring of Honor. I was like, okay, he signed with Ring of Honor. And then see him make his make an appearance at Revolution. And it's like, oh. So he's signed with AEW, but now that, you know, Ring of Honor is combined, you could say, with an All Elite Wrestling. It's like, okay, it would make sense. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I, don't, I wouldn't be surprised either if you see matches involving Ring of Honor stars and uh, oh, AEW stars. Yeah. Maybe at like, I don't like, oh, know. Maybe double or nothing if the cards are bright, or maybe 
some point down the road. But yeah, I mean, Impact is already got Ring of Honor, at least some of the stars there. Well. In the Roxy, it's just signed with NXT. I don't know what they're going to do yes. with that. I'm going to, like, I'm kind of scared, but whatever. Yeah, Roxy signed, as did, can't remember her name, Corinne McKay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, so. And they're probably going to call her Rap F, I don't know. But no, she already has a name. Oh, really? I'm sure we had talked about it. Uh, I can't remember. You looked it up or something. I might have. Anyway. Oh, oh, no, I'm talking about Roxy. Oh, Rock oh yeah, yeah, Roxy, yeah, who knows. Anyways. But, yeah, uh, Zayn? Yeah. I don't really... I don't... I the saw, name doesn't sound familiar. No, I took, yeah, I saw two matches, maybe more, I can't remember. But, obviously, a Ring of Honor star. I, again, haven't seen too many matches yeah. that I can remember, but right. it should be a good match, obviously. And I would pick Swerve, because uh, he's familiar. Yeah. I Makes, yeah. can't wait to see if they put the TNT title on him. True. At some point. Yeah. yeah or, hell, even the pure championship, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but... I mean, obviously, it's worth his money, and I can't wait to see what else they do with him. Yeah, for It's sure. just a shame they didn't do too much in NXT. Yeah. But I'm glad that he left after that, because I can't see what the fuck they were going to do with him if they stayed on SmackDown. Yeah. But yeah, it takes worth on this one. Jay Lethal, Lee Moriarty, and Matt. <laughs> Third Eye. Man. Matt Seidel is this very, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say religious person, but he's yeah. very into like yoga, meditation, stuff yeah. like that. And he's very, like, very, like, open minded. Yeah. Lee Moriarty was kind of training with Seidel. And then he ended up going to, I can't remember, and yeah. you know, Josh Woods, follow him through it, and Ring of Honor, yeah. know him fairly well. This would be a really good match, I think. The matches that Josh Woods and Lee Moriarty had in the Pure Tournament yes. was fucking amazing. Yeah. And I mean, you look at Matt Seidel's career, you can go from WWE when he was ever born, you go to Impact Wrestling, and then you go to Ring of Honor, or wherever else he was, who knows. Yeah. You know, again, another guy who was, well, I mean, I don't know if I would call him underrated, but uh, just one of the best high flyers in wrestling. Oh yeah, for sure. Today at least. I mean, except for the botch he made at Double or Nothing. Well, but yeah. Oh yeah. Jay Lethal. I've seen Jay Lethal for black. Well, if you seen him have a few matches on Dynamite, I, he may have done some matches on like Dark or Dark Elevation, Rampage. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and then of course you know Lee Moriarty, Seidel. Maybe you know what? I'll change things up and go Lethal. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the match that Lethal and Cole had recently. Oh, that was good. That was very good. To see both of those guys in the ring, I'm not quite sure if they wrestled in Ring of Honor in the past. I think, they, I think so. So, I mean, it's pretty fucking cool. I'm still gonna... Well, actually, yeah, I'll say Jay Lethal. Yeah. Can't believe Frag. I oh, fuck that. Match for the Pure Championship. Josh Woods, who is the current Pure Champion, against Wheeler, Utah. And you know, the thing that's really interesting is with Wheeler, Utah seemingly 
wanting to branch away from the best friends and Orange Cassidy. Yeah. And seemingly join the Blackpool Combat Club. And there was a, a tag team match with Daniel Sun and John Moxley and Wheeler Yuta and I think it was Chuck. And then after the match, they're leaving and really got the of the ring and he stands his hand to Regal. Of course, Regal straight up a Noki slap some and it's like, oh, well, okay, another guy. And then it was this past week where it's like, you know, I respect William Regal, I respect his opinion, I respect his, you know, he's the only person I ever really respected. Yeah. Their, valued their opinion and it's like, so, because you want to claim us, you know, you got to kind of like be baptized in pain and blood and violence and it's like uh, yeah it makes sense uh yeah i mean and it's one of those things where i didn't think that the best friends of orange cassidy really needed you to no i mean you look at the matches too in the pure tournament with wheel of yuda and it was almost like Okay, I know Ring of Honor closed its doors for a bit, and he jumped ship to AEW, so, I mean, I would have preferred him on his own, mm. but... And even you look at, uh, there was there an interview done, as I, I think it was with uh, Tony Schiavone. Oh, yeah. And it's like, well, here we are a week removed from Wheelie Utah. Getting slapped by William Regal, and then it was trying to was like, you know, I know these guys trained you, took you in, let you sleep on their couch, but I never really liked you, and so, you know, you want to turn your back on us and leave us, and you, Wheeler Yuda, was like, you know, I love these guys, they're like brothers to me, I never really liked you myself either. Yeah. And I'm not trying to be the best friend I can be. I'm trying to be the best wrestler I can be. And it's like, okay, that kind of makes sense yeah. as to why he would decide to join the Blackpool Combat Club. As far as this match goes, I know they had to have wrestled at the Pure Tournament two years ago. I think it was now. Fuck. I, it's going to be a good match. I don't know who it will win. I'll take Josh, honestly. All right. I think he'll keep the title. It's going to be a good match, nonetheless. Yeah. Hard hitting for sure. You know, when this match, we got Mercedes Martinez against Willow Nightingale. Yeah. Of course, Mercedes, we know from NXT. Mm -hmm. Had a fairly good run in NXT. Never really went anywhere. Well, they had to run in NXT. Then they had her as a member of Retribution. Retribution. And then she didn't really like the way things were going in that aspect. Who would? So she left. She went back to NXT. Another little run in NXT. And then she left. And now she's been kind of... Well, she's been working at AEW. And, I think, and also a little bit of... Ring of Honor as well. Yes. So we're kind of going back and forth between the two. Willow Nightingale. I think I'm familiar with that. Yeah, she wrestled Roxy in uh, battle. Right, yes, yes. And yeah, she's a good wrestler, honestly. I think she's one of those, you know, brick shit houses, if you will. If you will. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy her work. And I mean, Mercedes definitely has a long list of, you know, wrestling and I believe MMA. I'm not quite sure about that. Well, before getting to NXT, 
she spent like 20 years in the Indies. Yeah. So she has quite the pedigree, so to speak. Honestly, it's going to be a good match. Yeah. But just like the last one, I can't really pick a winner, to be honest with you. Because I think Willow did a great job in the ring and when she was in Ring of Honor. But then again, Mercedes is another very good wrestler. Oh, yeah. So, not sure. Yeah, this one. This one will be definitely very interesting. Yeah. Now we have winner take all. The main event, we've got Bandito versus Jonathan Gresham versus Bandito. Ring of Honor World Title versus uh, Ring of Honor. What does it fucking say? Well, I know Gresham just won the Ring of Honor championship. Yeah. I think Bandito was also Ring of Honor World Champion, so it's like... Jonathan had, like, I'll call it the old school Ring of Honor World title. Right. Bandito had the updated version, I'll call it. And I don't know if it's unifying both championships and the one, you know, you know Ring of Honor World Championship. I, I don't know. It says it's gotta be a fucking fad. Unifying titles or whatever. But... Cause like, I don't know of Bandito holding any other title. Yeah, I don't know either. To be honest. Cause I don't... Uh, I know he's not the television champion. Well, I know I have, but I'll have to look it up. But... Yeah, I might mean, yeah. uh, put in what championships are on the wire in this match. I think that Jonathan is honestly very good. I mean, obviously, with the Pure title and the Ring of Honor title and the Take Team titles with Jay Lethal. Yeah. And, I mean, you got Bandito, uh, one of the <laughs> best luchadors on uh, Ring of Honor. So, yes. honestly, you got two styles, once again, in clashing. Yeah. But I will pick a winner. I mean, I'm gonna say Jonathan Gresham. Yeah, I think Gresham could, like... G Gresham has definitely been the standout of the Foundation. Yes. Like, all the members of the Foundation are very, very good. Yeah. Gresham just seems to be the standout of the faction. Right. So... And I mean, it totally makes sense to put the world title on him. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, when him and Lethal had the match for the title, that was a damn good match. Uh, yeah. I mean, again, Jay Lethal, the most... The veteran in Ring of Honor, obviously Impact. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, never stepped foot in WWE. Yeah, depending on how, what way you want to look at that. Fortunately, unfortunately. But, Whatever. I mean, this is going to be a good show. There could be more matches coming. I don't know. Yeah. It says, you know, card may add more. I mean, that always happens. Oh, uh, with every event there is, you know, there's always that card subject to change. So. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, until <laughs> then, we have... Stand and deliver. We've got, of course, WrestleMania now. Uh, we may or may not do multiverse. We may, I don't, I'm not sure. We'll see. I think that it's stacked enough. I don't know. Yeah. The weekend is already looking pretty stacked, so. If we can fit it in, we will. Yeah. If not, we. Do a review of it. Yeah. Somewhere down the line. For sure. So, from Wheels of Fury, this has been Killer Kyle. I'm me, Matt. And we will talk to you on Stand and Deliver. Deuces. Bye!